and thank you guys for tuning in to your come up where on your come up we talk about topics that help you come up business finance personal spiritual physical today we're going to have a conversation with adrian delator about starting a podcast on a can we call it like a pbr beer kind of budget but having a champagne quality so to speak <laughs> yes all right cool if this is your first time here thank you for joining don't forget to drop us a like hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you don't miss your come up good morning adrian how you doing today good morning and i'm doing great how you doing today i'm pretty good man thank you you know you got the kids all you know, settled. You got your coffee right there, I imagine, or a Red Bull. Yeah. <laughs> coffee. There you go. Coffee. It does coffee. nothing for me anymore, but yeah. But we still crave it. We still crave it. Exactly. We still... Plus, I, I just like using this mug. You know what, what I mean? What does it it's say? It's the Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. <laughs> I Baby. saw that at, uh, at uh, what's it called? Joanne's? Joanne's, yeah. Joanne's. Okay. I was about to say Comic Con, maybe. Or... <laughs> Thank hey. you for having me. This is This, this seems fun. No, oh, this will be fun. It it's fun. Be fun. I say that. Like, it's not going to be fun. Sorry. I, I know, right? <laughs> no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Adrian, in 60 seconds or less, tell us a little bit about yourself. I, I grew up here in the desert, which I believe you're also from the desert, right? And yeah. uh, I went went to high school, all that. Went to the local community college, decided to go to Arizona for school. Went to film school. At one point, I wanted to be a filmmaker, so I went to film school. Didn't exactly work out. I kind of just fell into TV news. When I moved okay. back, I worked I worked in TV news for about here in the desert for like five years or so. I got I got offered a job in, in Utah. So I moved out of state for a few years. I was in Utah for about a year. I was in Colorado for another four years. And due to some financial struggles, we moved back to the desert with family and stuff. And um, mm -hmm. here we are. And um, you know, I'm working a, a, a office job right now, and I'm also got a lot of side projects going on. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm just a person who likes to basically work in media, which is I think is kind of how we found each other. Exactly. Yeah. I love movies. I still love movies. Mm -hmm. um, I do a podcast about movies. Movies are a huge part of my life. Always have been. I could do that for free for the rest of my life, and I would totally be happy. I, um, I'm just a big movie fan who's trying to have my own come up just like what the title of your show says you know we all have and, a come uh, up waiting to happen exactly so that's why we're here and that's, that's that's me in a very small nutshell i guess with the whole covid pandemic i don't know if a lot more podcasts but a lot more content creation has been happening for better or for worse if you may call it that let's say you're on a budget whether you're a college student or just someone who wants to get into podcasting but you need to do it on the cheap to make sure it's the right fit how would one start a podcast on a budget like a PBR beer kind of budget, but get champ, uh, but get champagne quality out of it. In the filmmaking world, someone always someone always asks on these forums, "What's the best camera to buy for a beginning filmmaker?" You always get all kinds of suggestions, but I saw a guy a guy one time. He said, a "Random person on the internet who said the best camera that you can get is the one that you have on you right now." And it's usually, it's usually the smartphone. Exactly. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but honestly, it's practical and it makes sense. And for a podcast, I would honestly say the same thing. You would be amazed, and I'm not even kidding, you would be amazed how, how good the, of the sound you can get out of these little phones. It's not professional quality, professional studio quality, but it's also not, it, it's better than, it's 10 times better than like the cheap di digital recorders that we've had for years before smart more smartphones were a thing. I would say to anybody who wants to do a podcast, just do it on your phone. If you have, if you want, if you have a, a co-host or co-host, Mm -hmm. Have them all bust out their phones, you know, turn on the recording app, you know, clap to sync it up later in post and just okay. go. Just do it on your phone. And um, as far as software editing goes, I mean, you could easily do basic editing on an iPad okay. if you already have one or on an, on the phone itself. Now, okay. if you want to take it up a notch, you know, we uh, want to go from a PBR budget to a craft beer budget. Coors Light, maybe? <laughs> Coors Light, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I recommend honestly go on Facebook Marketplace or go on eBay and find yourself a cheap USB mic. If you have a computer, you, you plug it into that, you download a free audio program, maybe you've heard of it, Audacity. Okay. Audacity is like uh, one of the most commonly used audio recording programs because it's free, it's open source, it's been around for years. And you plug that bad boy in and you record a podcast. That's it, that's all you have to do. And the great thing about Audacity is not only is it a recorder, it's also an editor, so you can edit your podcast. And uh, okay. there's so many uh, helpful, I, I myself have looked into this, there's so many helpful resources on YouTube 
how to use audacity how to uh, you know bring in other elements to like an intro and music and sound effects and all that good stuff just to start up like mm -hmm. once you actually have all that stuff the only thing you're gonna keep paying for is the um, is the uh, the storage the the hosting, the hosting. Okay. Um, on my show on our show i should say it's not my show <laughs> uh it's a cooperative on our show we use a thing called simplecast they have a pretty decent um i think their lowest tier pricing is like eight bucks a month maybe it's 12 okay something like that so yeah so your startup costs honestly like should be more or more than 30 bucks and then and then every month after that you're yeah 30, 30 bucks a month well no 30 bucks to start sorry and then after okay. that like eight, eight to 12 bucks a month for, for your hosting you know you okay. sign up for an apple you submit it to Apple Podcasts and all that, mm -hmm. and and you know that goes out to tons of people. There's so many other channels that it goes to. It goes on Spotify. It goes on Stitcher. It goes on pretty much every major audio listening platform that you can think of. That's 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 the nuts and bolts of it. Um, obviously, you want a decent pair of headphones. You know, wireless headphones work. Earbuds work, but use headphones. I'll, what about I, AirPods? AirPods. Or AirPods work. I, I have a, I have a, um, I edit a podcast for another friend of mine. She does a political podcast. She wasn't using headphones, and, and I found out, and I was like, always, 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 always use headphones. I don't care if they're cheap headphones or whatever. Just plug those bad boys in. They actually told me, oh, I can actually hear stuff, like if there's a bird outside or if, right. if the refrigerator is running. You know, I can actually. <laughs> I tell her to go catch it before it runs away. There That's you a go. terrible dad joke. But you're a dad, too, so it's okay. We can make I, that I, I love a little dad joke, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so, that, that's the basics of it. So let's say, you know, it's one thing to record a podcast as an individual. Let's say you're recording a podcast, like in your case, where it's a collaborative effort, but not necessarily yeah. everyone's in the same room at the same time. How would someone record a podcast with multiple people if they're in different locations? So we started with the with with Skype, which everybody's heard of. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I personally hate Skype. Uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, and mostly because it's not it's not the best quality. You don't get the best quality out of it. Uh, we're talking a beer budget podcast. I mean, that's that's that to start. You know, that's the free option. Everybody everybody's heard of it. A lot of people already have it, so you can already hit the ground running. And we moved on to a much better tool in the last few months. It's also free. It shouldn't even be free, but it is called Zencaster. Okay. And again, no free publicity, but they're not paying me, but I, I've been using it and I love it. Zencaster is completely free. It's made for podcasting. Mm -hmm. um, it's the interface is very simple and it's very, it's it's geared towards the, the podcasting arena. You know, you, all you have to do is share a link with any, anybody who has a web browser can, go, can be on your podcast. They don't need to download any apps. All they have to have is their phone and they can just be on your show. Easy, right. simple. Gotcha. So I highly recommend looking into Zencaster. It's a little, you have to set it up. It's a little, I don't wanna say it's weird. There's a tiny bit of a learning curve, but once you get over it, it's not bad at all. And um, once you start using it, it's honestly a great, it's a great tool to have. Okay. And audio is just as clean or just as good or whatnot? When it's better because uh, what, what happens is it records locally. So that means that you and I were talking, all this audio would get recorded to our computers. And then once it's done, it saves all, it automatically saves all those files to you can you can connect it to a Dropbox or, or a, G, a, a Google Drive. Okay. So once you hit once you stop recording, it automatically pushes all that to the cloud, and then it, and then you can also download those tracks as well, and then you know you have clean, uh, uh, locally saved audio tracks that they're super easy to sync up and post. That's the other great thing about it. Yeah, you have isolated tracks. Skype doesn't do that. So good luck. Uh, good luck doing that with Skype. <laughs> plus, if you have bad Wi-Fi connection by accident or something, forget about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> last question. Any last or final words you want to relay to the people watching? Uh, you know, I, I didn't. Have, I wasn't prepared for that one, but I, I will say I think it's great what you're doing here. I think it's great that you uh, are. I feel like um, doing this kind of show kind of, it's sort of, um, uh, what do you call it? It's a win-win. Like you get to learn about other people and then you also, mm -hmm. and then they also get to present, you know, and talk about themselves for a few minutes. So, uh, yeah. so I think keep up, keep this up. I think keep up the great work on uh, doing this. I appreciate and to that. anybody listening out there, you know, uh, there's no wrong way to create content. Sometimes you just have to do it. Um, there's a great video by Kevin Smith. You know who Kevin Smith is? Yeah, the, 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 the film director, right? 
Yeah, he. Uh, there's a great video where he talks about um, the day his dad died, and the way that inspired him to like keep creating movies and stuff, keep creating content, even though, you know, because he kind of had his heyday back in the '90s, and then, you know, then he sort of kind of stopped for a little bit. But he basically said, and I still listen to it every now and then for inspiration, motivation, whatever you want to call it. Don't listen to the people who say. Uh, oh, why? why? Why do you want to do that? Listen to the people who say, well, why not? Oh, you want to make a podcast? Yeah, why sure. Why not? You know, you want to make a short film? Why not? Like surround yourself with, with uh, people who, who say, well, why not? Let's go out there and do it. So I, I can't I can't do it justice. You should go watch the video. It's on YouTube. It's great. But right. basically, um, the gist of it is the takeaway is uh, just, just, you know, there's no wrong way to create content. Just create it. Just make it, you know, just you know put it out there maybe it'll do good maybe it won't maybe it'll be just a learning path for you to make better content who knows you know, you know i could be a testament to that the first youtube video i, I po published not the very first one with the uh, social media because we paid it that was a paid editor to do that but the first one i edited compared to uh 50 videos later significant <laughs> improvement and i still yeah. film on my iphone still film yeah. on my iphone I was thinking about getting a camera, but I'm like, not yet. No, they can't. people thought it was on a professional camera. Like, no, it's an iPhone camera, yeah. you know? So no, the more you yeah. do it, the better you get. And whatever it is, just do it. Whatever, if it's audio, if it's video, if it's, if it's drawing stuff, you know? I mean, you see how people, how famous people have become on lots of different platforms, like just from doing time lapses of them drawing these amazing pieces of art or painting or creating, mm -hmm. you know, crafts, whatever it is. There's no, there's no wrong way to do it. You just have to do it. That's all it is. You know, those time lapse, I'm always a sucker for because one, it's time lapse, so it's fast. But you're yeah. curious to see what the heck is it going to be at the end. You're stuck. You're, you're glued to it. So yeah, yeah. And and those guess, get me all the time. <laughs> uh, they do. I'm like, oh man, I'm about to be three minutes late for work watching this. Okay, so <laughs> even if it is a time lapse of somebody uh, uh, making dick butt with beads, <laughs> I'll still watch it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. It's entertaining. You got my attention. <laughs> awesome, brother. Well, thank you, Adrian, for tuning in and for jo for joining. And thank you guys for watching your come up. Until next time. Mm -hmm.